you can create your own. But this is just an example of stuff that I have on my machine. I have uh, pieces per hour, I have weight per hour, area, detailing, so just some things I play with. So I have one here called detailing, and it's currently set up for two pieces per hour. And that's just throwing in a random number just so I have something. But if I call that in, I'll call this task name, I'll just call it detailing, just for you know, keeping it simple. The task type is then detailing. And the planned production rate, whatever that production rate is, preloads. So whatever I have set in there, it's going to try to fill out this information and figure out this information for me. Now, as I start to add parts to this, I can go ahead and select members like beams and columns. And then we can right click on this task and I can say, um, I want to assign these objects to the task or add selected objects. So now, based on that information, um, it's going to try to come up with a, a planned end date. Let's see if it didn't actually add those there. Oh, it's probably because I only have a handful of things selected. Let's see if I can zoom in here a little bit. Okay, so based on that, that production rate, it should take me 0.31 days. So maybe I should have had a bigger model than this. But it's going to keep track of you know, how much time should this take. So you can also adjust that planned end date. It's going to try to auto-calculate for you based on the production rate. But if you say, no, 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 I have to put in like next Friday as my completion date. Now something about these tasks is they can be tied to specific UDAs. So as you enter a completed detailing or a completed date UDA, it's going to keep track of that for me. So using one that's kind of a, an out-of-the-box example, if I go to my user-defined attributes for this beam, and we start coming into um, like my detailing status, and I hit this actual detailing end, let's say that if this was detailed today, let me uncheck that option, and I'll say modify, and then maybe I'll grab a column, and um, oh, I'll just stop there, so I only have like four parts in there. Once I have those UDAs applied, um, if we refresh this task, refresh, hopefully you can see, yeah, you can kind of see on you know, my very tiny example here, you get that black bar that starts to pro uh, progress across the line so that we can actually see, oh, we are this far along. Um, there's also going to be like a percentage complete in here, so right now I am 40% with that particular task. So again, this is just one of those tools that I don't feel like enough people are using and based on the, the amount of hands raised, you know, maybe you just got to 